latex allergy. Um, uh, next slide. OK, so this is an, uh, as by the name. It's an, uh, it's an allergy, which is a reaction to certain proteins found in the natural rubber latex. And the thing why it's so common, um, especially in medicare workers, is the the gloves that most of them used. They are they have the latex. Uh, they have latex in them, and so the their allergies tend to um, go. Um, a product made from rubber tree. If you have latex allergy, your body mistakes latex for harmful sub substance. So it's it's pro it's mainly a problem in the immune system. Um, but it's, it's mistakes latex for harm, like it, it declares latex and a harmful substance. Um, latex allergy may cause itchy skin and hives or even anaph anaphylaxis, a potentially life threatening condition. So pretty serious. Uh, that can cause throat swelling and severe difficulty breathing. Your doctor can determine if you have a latex allergy if you are at risk of developing or if you are at risk of de developing a latex allergy. Okay. So it's basically an immune system problem. Um, the, the, the best case scenario of latex is, um, is just simple itching, skin redness, hives or rashes, and they can usually go away. Um, next slide. These are the mild symptoms. The more severe symptoms that can happen is um, sneezing, runny nose, itchy, itchy, watery eyes, scratchy throat, difficulty breathing, wheezing, and coughing. These are more severe of the latex allergy. Next slide. The most serious allergic reaction to latex is anaphylaxis, which can be deadly. An anaphylactic reaction develops immediately after latex exposure in highly sensitive people. But what rarely happens the first time you are exposed. Signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis include difficulty breathing, hives or swelling, nausea and vomiting, wheezing, drop in blood pressure, dizziness, loss of consciousness, confusion, and rapid or weak pulse. In a latex allergy, your immune system identifies latex as a harmful substance and triggers certain antibodies to fight it off. The next time you're exposed to latex, this antibodies tell your immune system to release histamine and other chemicals into your bloodstream, producing a range of allergy signs and symptoms. The more times you're exposed to latex, the more strongly your immune system is likely to respond. It's called sensitization. Certain people are at greater risk of developing a latex allergy. People with spina bifida. The risk of latex allergy is highest in people with spina bifida which is a birth defect that affects the development of the spine. People with this disorder often are exposed to latex products through early and frequent healthcare. People with spina bifida should always avoid latex products. People who undergo multiple surgeries or medical procedures, repeated exposure to latex gloves and medical products increase your risk of developing latex allergy. Healthcare workers, if you work in a healthcare, you will increase the risk of de developing a latex allergy. Rubber industry workers, repeated exposure to latex may increase sensitivity. People with personal or family history of allergies, you are at increased risk of latex allergy if you have other allergies such as hay fever or food allergy or they're common in your family.